Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of your favorite travel program, probably in the history of television, Poland Daily Travel. We're coming to you live, not live. That's, I mean, we're recording this live. We're still alive, apparently. With not a lot of editing. No, no, well, of course. You're we very, just... You're very skillful in that regard. We, yes, <laughs> we do not a lot of editing. It's almost like live. Yeah. But, but it's not live. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's live to tape. Live to tape, yes. Harold? Are you yes, there? Yes, sir. How are you? Harold von Kors, in Estonia. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> How are things over there today? Everything is wonderful, sir. Oh, that's good to hear. I love it when you call me sir with no irony. That's wonderful. <laughs> and here <laughs> we're talking about I've got my lucky, my lucky seven list. You want to hear what it is, guys? Yeah, of course. You ready for the lucky, the lucky seven list? Of course. Most anxious. Yes. Most, <laughs> most anxious or wise one. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Yes. November. The best, seven best things to do in November. Here we go. Number one, hunker down with your huskies till March. <laughs> no? Hunker down? Is that what you do up there in uh, Estonia? In Warsaw, we... I haven't we... seen any huskies lately. No. We, ha we have some that we, we ship they... in just for hunkering. They fled to St. Petersburg. They fled to St. Petersburg. Okay. We'll have to get some back. Um, number two, move to Zakopane. That's in, southern, that's in the mountains of Poland. And uh, become a, a, a sleigh driver. Move to Zakopane, become a sleigh driver. That's, a, that, that's something you could do. Are you, you a slave driver in your... A sleigh. Sleigh, sleigh not slave, slaves. Slave. Sorry, sir. Harold, sorry. we don't have slaves anymore. You don't. This is not. This is not Germany in the 1930s. Okay. Well, your family yeah. built Virginia in the this... back. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the past history. This is not Germany in the 1930s. Okay. <laughs> we didn't have any slaves. No. <laughs> That's what you say now. Okay. Uh... Except during war production times. Number and three. Number three. Stay, stay to the up. Number three. Nuance. On the lucky seven list, number three. I hope I have seven. I think I may only have six. We have to make up the last one. Install fluorescent lights and potted palms in every room in your abode, wherever that may be. Yeah, install fluorescent lights because that, yeah, and a potted palm. That helps, does it? Yeah. Are you apparently. converting your apartment into a bordello? I am not perverting my apartment. <laughs> That's your job. You are the only person I know who would pervert their apartment. I would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing, take up ice fishing or take ice fishing lessons because it's not ice fishing season yet. Do you ever do any ice fishing up there in Estonia? No, and I have no intention of making such an attempt. No? You, you're yeah. not going to try? Nicholas, have you ever tried ice fishing? Why, why would you fish for ice? It seems very strange. You would me. never fish for ice? No. Listen, man, uh, <laughs> that's why I was asking Harold, because there's nothing else to do in Estonia in the winter, except look out your window and go, ah, there's some ice. Yeah. If I were in Wisconsin, perhaps I would do some ice fishing. Ah, with Jan Johansson. Yeah, to, to celebrate... The man from Wisconsin. To celebrate Biden's victory over Trump. Okay. <laughs> you're going to sort of throw in... You're going to throw in politics no matter what happens. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I, that an no, extreme... No, no, no. We're going to put you on mute. Keep going. We'll put you on mute. Okay? <laughs> All right. That's what they should have yeah, done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pushing... I got the mute button right here. Actually, it's under here. The other, I got two buttons. One is the mute button for you. The other is the electric uh, shock button for, <laughs> to wake up Nicholas because he's about, very sleepy. But, yeah, but yeah. fortunately, Savannah Guthrie, she took care of Trump in the second uh, round. Yep. And number Sorry. seven, number seven. No, no, number six. Yeah. Um, organize a, uh, an indigenous people's fashion show and uh, try out winter clothing, uh, winter clothing options. What do you think? Would you, would you get, would like to see that? Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Get some nice models. Yep. Indigenous people's uh, clothing. Yeah. I, I always thought it'd be good. To, I like to organize uh, strip teases, you know? <laughs> I organize a strip tease, but you put on more clothes. Oh, right. 
You put on that more could have a little bit of a Game of Thrones. Yes. Motif. What? Game of Thrones motif. Game of Thrones motif, exactly. And the, uh, uh, I, don't know, I can't even read the last one. Anyway, I can't remember what the seventh one was, and I can't read my writing. So uh, from now on, uh, I, will, I will promise to print better, and maybe it'll come to me later. Anyway, that's the, the lucky seven list. We'll have to work on that. That wasn't as good as I thought it would be. But what is? Nothing's as good. Life isn't as good as you think it's going to be, is it? No. When you're a kid, you go, ah, oh, life. That's got to be good. It's not as good as you thought. Exactly. It's not. It's not but Will, why don't you tell us, how does it feel to be sitting in your iron throne? in the studio. My iron throne, what? Yeah. My the iron throne. You mean my throne of irony. <laughs> no, your iron throne. <laughs> you mean my irony throne. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. What do you, what is, what's your favorite thing to do in November? Uh, how do you keep yourself going, looking forward to Christmas, pointing towards Santa's arrival? What do you do there? I wonder. Harold. Wrong! <laughs> I intend to go to as many fish restaurants as I can because uh, the fish are particularly tasty in November here. I did not know that. I reckon that, that people do turn a lot to fish in the winter because fish, uh, uh, you can still catch them and they can Important still be fresh. Important source of vitamins. Yeah, and it's hard to fish for cows. I've tried it. Not so much fun. Mm. Nicholas. Well, of course, Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, of course, it's worth pointing out, since we're in Poland, that, of course, November gets off to a flying start on the 1st of November, mm -hmm. which is worth seeing when everybody traditionally visits their, their family's graves and they light these little candles on the grave, grave stones. Yes, we did a show and, 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 uh, and, and about it, that. And it's very nice at dusk when you see, the, especially if you go to a large graveyard, a yeah. large cemetery, and you see all these candles lit at about dusk on the 1st of November, which is a public holiday in Poland. Yes. And a course. mass movement of people. We did a show yes. from Powanski Cemetery and that, about, that, about just that. And that's yeah. very, that's a, a worth mentioning if, if anybody happens to be here in November. That's right. And, and so respect for people who did it before you, exactly. which is always a good thing, especially now when some people seem to think they invented the world. Yes. That nothing existed before them. Uh, they, 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 that's frightening. Which is but fortunately, boring. Fortunately, there are people who think more sensibly. But there no, seriously, people. it is actually a remarkable spectacle because it, it's it, it, very nice to see it, as you've done a program about it. Right? Yes, yeah, it was, worth, it, worth mentioning. It's a beautiful place too. The, the, I mean, the cemeteries in Warsaw, particularly. I mean, I'm not familiar with the other cities. I assume it's equally yes uh, good. But the, the cemeteries in Warsaw are amazing. So it's a good time to pay respects. That's what we're saying. For more exciting Poland daily travel, I'm Will Richardson. I'm with Nicholas Richardson, right here in the studio, and Harold von Kursk. Not a Richardson. <laughs> That's going to cause confusion. I was going to say Harold Richardson. <laughs> yes. Harold von Kursk is a study. I, got, I was on a roll. Actually, Everybody, our producer, I had Raffle a, Richardson. You know, everybody's a Richardson. It would make you life a lot better. It's Richardson, like Smith. Richardson, it's terrible. Not a Richardson. Yeah. 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 Stay tuned, everybody, for our next episode. Thank you for watching. You're looking good and hang in there. <laughs>